focus, man. What's poppin', homies? It's your boy, Frank Nitty, back in the building. Yo, I apologize. It took a while for me to get myself situated. As you can tell, man, the room changed once again. That's what happens when you're constantly interrupting your workflow. It's trying to put the pieces back together, bro. It's like, it's like making a puzzle. And then as you transport the puzzle, like maybe fall off the floor to the table and you accidentally spill it. And now you got to put it back together when you put it on that table. And that's what doing some of these videos feels like, man. I'm always finding loose pieces, putting pieces back together. So I apologize for the, the tardiness. Nevertheless, man, we can get right into it. You guys know how I do. Matter of fact, quick introduction, man. This is what I do. Every single week, we'll be submitting our dopest deals, man. You go to MrBallAndBudget.com, submit a receipt, proof of purchase, and then show the product, man, whether it's a video in store, maybe in your closet, your collection. I don't care if you sold it, if you got some old pictures, submit that together. I had to disqualify for you guys because you guys just send the shoes. No details, no insight, no information, and no receipt. I can't honor that, man. We want proof, man. We want receipts, literally and figuratively, man. Anyways that out the way i'm gonna set it off with one of my dopest pickups for 2020 and that is the air jordan 11 snakeskin navy now this shoe came out i think march of 2019 i found the outlet almost a year later joined the whole fiasco the whole lockdown that's right i found it in july purchased in july and i paid 111 dollars for this shoe What's crazy is that this shoe is now hitting for like $100 over retail, which was $185, and clearly double what I paid for it. Not only that, that same day, I copped the LeBron Icons. The LeBron Icons hit for $250 the day of release, but nobody wanted it. That shoe did sat, to be fair. That shoe sat for a very, very long time, and then it made their rounds to the outlet. So I picked up a pair for $87. Guys, that's more than 50% below retail. That's roughly around 60%. Now, what I paid was $87, and that shoe is now hitting for over 150, 160, depends on when you purchase it. Two dope items from the same location on the same day. And that's how I'm kicking it off, man. Just wanna give a little bunt to first base, and then I'm gonna have my homies come and give us a grand slam to take us all home, man. So first up, Let's get right into it. I don't got my normal setup, man. So this is going to be, you know what I mean? We're going to try to build a boat while floating, bro. If that makes sense, is it build a boat or building? Sorry for the noise. But anyways, guys, let's get right into it. Um, there's a reason why I want you guys to submit on ballinthebudget.com. A lot of you guys email me because, you know, one-offs. It's because I have a little format I go by and it's a little, it's literally easier to do it this way. So I can just go to my emails. I can just, you know. Anyways, that's behind the scene information. But nevertheless, man, we got Christopher up. He's, well, he went shopping at the Nike Community Store in Portland. I need to get to Portland, guys. I need to get to Portland. He purchased the Nike React Miller 2. Now, I never heard of this shoe, but the price he got it for was $27.80. No, $27.97, 11 and a half, one of my sizes. And this guy, he said, found these Nike React Millers while browsing through the clearance store section in the Nike community store while on vacation in Portland. So he was on vacation. There was almost $100 off for of retail. That's crazy, man. That's cr crazy. So I looked this shoe up. The shoe did retail for $130. So the homie paid $100 less. And Portland doesn't have sales tax or maybe on sneakers, that is. Maybe have sales tax, but it's not on shoes. So he walked out paying $27.97 crazy he does have a social media i'll put it down below if not you can find it in the description man so salute to christopher for getting us that first submission and now he's on first i'm on second next up oh the haitian boy is back he submitted some stuff last week what shoes did he had i forgot man i have to i apologize i didn't go through the previous video before i shot this video i think we on week four if not week five we did a pilot so we on we may be on week four but anyways the haitian boy just submitted a uh, previous entry before but today he submitted nothing but clothing man he got a whole bunch of jordan hoodies jordan essential 17 dollars jordan dry fit zion 13 dollars mj i don't know if that's supposed to be sprint dna hbr 13.95 apologize and this all at the tanger outlet center in deer park new york he's not done he got another jordan sport dna for 13 beans he got another jordan central mountain side for 15 dollars club 
fleece for $13.95. Boy, this homie keep going. He got the Hardaway hoodie with the copper zipper above the kangaroo pouch. I will disqualify you because of that item right there, bro. It's probably the worst design sweater ever. But he paid $15.97 for it. 2XL. Can't get mad at the price. I am mad at design. That's a horrible way to design a sweater. But anyways, man, he copped a whole bunch of Jordan sweaters with, I call them hoodies. Apologize. Jordan hoodies for like $13, man. Oh, and he got to throw a big old hoodie in my face. So he submitted the screenshots of what he purchased, but he had to show an actual picture of the, the Anthony Hardaway hoodie, bro. Disgusting. Disgusting. You lucky Haitian boy, man. You know, you you are loyal, so I, I got to keep you in here, man. All right, moving along, man. Next up, we got Isaiah Miller. What did he submit? Oh, yes. Yeah. So this is a, I think he said Goodwill. This is a Goodwill find. He went to, yep, Goodwill in Annapolis, various locations. So apparently based on the description he wrote, he said he typically goes to like Goodwill twice a week. And pretty much the items he finds, he resells and pretty much pay for gas and lunch for that day or whatever. So some of the items he found was some Air Max, the yellow. He paid $14.99. I'm not sure if there's a picture of that. He also got some Air Max blue for $14.99. I got those shoes and I paid below retail for my pair. Maybe that might make a, a uh, appearance in one of these videos. He got the Jordan 7 Marvin the Martians for $9.99. Nine. Then you got some phone posits concourse. I did have that shoe. I did cop mine off of eBay. I, I did pay below retail and he got his way cheaper for 20 beans. That's cheap. But yo, this is where the confusion came. Homie got some Yeezys Pirate Blacks for $4.99. He said it was just chilling on the shelves. He said him and another dude was like eyeing it. He just ran over there a little bit quicker. So he was able to get the counterfeit shoe <laughs> a lot sooner. But he admitted to it. He said, yo, I know they're fake. But even for $4.99, it's still worth a pickup. Now, we all about honesty over here. So I applaud the dude for being honest. He didn't try to stunt and cap and say that he got Pirate Blacks for $4.99. So salute to him for being honest. But um, we want legit stuff over here, man. We want legit stuff over here. He did have a picture of the Pirate Black. Yeah, they uh, cap a feel. Um, so we're gonna keep it moving, man. Again, all the description is gonna be down below. Oh, he also got the Carmine Sixes as well. It should help me scroll through some of these images so I can uh, be thorough when I'm doing these videos. All right, who do we got next? Next up is Jose. He copped this from International Drive and Violence, so that means he's in my neck of the woods. He's in Central Florida, Orlando to be exact, or maybe he just visited. But anyways, the next pair of shoes he did cop from him, which I can attest. I have seen these shoes in the building. He got the LeBron. Let me do my Roman numerals real quick. X plus V, that's 15. All right, he got the LeBron 15 loads for $44.79. I did actually pick these shoes up. I did see this shoe for the exact same price. I actually found this shoe in my size. I remember trying it on at the old clearance. We got the new clearances at the loop. The previous clearance on $17.92, that's where I found these at. I'm assuming that's where he found these at. Um, and he got them for dirt cheap. Now, he did get the LeBron. LeBron 13 was like the biggest flop next to the 19s. <laughs> the shoe that's most recent, that's in everybody's sneaker store. Yeah, those, yeah, I think those are equivalent. The 13s and the 19s, big flops. They're, they're huge flops. In the sense that no one's caring for them. I'm not talking about the resale value. I'm just talking about the hype, the need, the want for these shoes. It's not highly sought after. Matter of fact, is the least sought after LeBron, I would argue, of all time next to the 13th and he got it for 47 78 and then moving on he got the nike socks bb4s uh white and black uh he paid 56 beans for those and um i think to round it off he got the air max 95 essentials for 42 dollars 62 cents size 11. oh i'm not done apparently he got an air jordan 6 as well for 47.99 size 6.5 wide now i know youth shoes do run some guacamole around 140 150 so for him to get this shoe for like 50 dollars below 50 that's a steal that's a steal here's the proof in the pudding uh he got this for international drive salute to the homie uh in-store purchase oh we're not done homie got the nike socks bb4 qs for 36 39 size 10 that's another shock and it looked like he bought two pairs if i'm not mistaken yes he did and he paid 77 this is back in 20 20. Did he buy more? 
Nah, he didn't buy more. I think he just submitted the yeah, delivery Saturday. Yes, same thing twice. Okay, I think we're done with Jose. Yes, Jose, we're done with you. Moving along, who do we have next? Oh, another homie from Central Florida, Nike Outlet Violin. Now, I haven't seen these shoes in the building. Salute to Danny, that's who submitted this information. I was about to leave because there was really nothing. I was about to leave. They rolled out a whole cart full of retro threes, the Cardinal Reds, which I did love. Guys, I had like two pairs of those shoes and none of them were my size. I won that shoe in my size so bad. And uh, here he at, finally, find them in a the size 10. Uh, they was going for 200, but they had additional, what? discount that I have Daniel was it 20% yes 20% so he saved $40 off so he paid 160 plus tax so it's like 170 and 40 cents out the building proof of receipt as always and look at the bokeh on this shot bro the background is crazy blur you took that with a professional camera or you must got an iPhone you know what I mean or maybe you got some software skills maybe you got an app on your phone that can make the bokeh appear looking phenomenal good job on that shot what else do we have are we running off i think this may be the last entry and this comes by maximus 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 or madness sorry man apologize um you got some air hirachis for 43 13 they're women uh the dark beet root black beet root never heard of that colorway but that's what Nike's coining it, along with coconut milk. Coconut milk, yes. Size 5 for $43.19. I don't know what that shoe retail for, but he got this from Skyview Center, Fulton, New York. So that's up top. New York sounds like Brooklyn since he's in Flatbush. Did I say Flatbush? Oh, he's in Flushing. That could be Queens. Um, He also got some Nike Air Force one and a half or one and a one. I don't know. One half one. Uh, he got him for $50.39. I remember seeing this shoe the first time was in Jimmy Jazz. He got him in size 10, man. So, salute to him. He provide the proof of purchase. Show a few of these images of the beet, root, and black coconut milk harachis <laughs> in the Air Force One slash one. So, I appreciate you, man. Madness. I hope I pronounced your name right. But nevertheless, guys, I'm going to wrap it up right here, man. Thank you for watching. I could probably do this live. That's what the whole setup here is supposed to be. It's supposed to be double as a live in these videos. But I could do these joints live. Let me know if you prefer these joints live. But nevertheless, man, if you guys are interested, submit your data. If you got better deals than what you see here, please submit it. Don't talk crap in the comment section. Not saying that anyone has. But I know people in the head like, man, I can find better deals. Matter of fact, I have spoken to a few of you guys in person who told me they got some dope deals. And I was like, yo, just submit it, man. Because I want to start getting crazier, man. I want to have like best Jordan 1 deals, best Jordan 3 deals, best deals for 2020. I wanted to go crazy, man. To a point, I might have to start doing two of these a week. But nevertheless, man, so let me get out of here. Go to MrBallInBudget.com. You'll find all the necessities you need there, like submitting your, your information along with purchasing my merch, you know, the hoodies, et cetera. Also, you can contact me there as well, man. So that said, I need a name for this series. So guys and gals, I think I'm going to leave it right there. Put your thinking caps on, span the comment section, what you think is a dope series name. I don't want steals and deals. I don't want nothing common and generic, man. We want something hype. You know what I mean? Something crazy. Something that's dope. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Thanks for watching. If you're new, hit the like, hit the subscribe. I'm going to keep making these videos. You keep watching. Friend day. All right, man. Peace.